Question thirty one. Sexuality includes all of the following except a cultural and religious expectations, b caring about your appearance, c holding hands when in pain, d how you speak and smile. Answer C. Explanation. Sexuality is expressed in many ways besides having sex. People are moulded by their cultural and religious beliefs, as well as how they see themselves. Sexuality develops through all relationships. It includes how we look, dress, walk, smile, laugh, and cry. Sexuality continues to develop throughout our entire lives. Question thirty-two. The term used when a person repeats a phrase or action over and over is called a perseveration, b persistence, c repetition, d senility. Answer A. Explanation. Perseveration is the repetition of a word, phrase, or gesture. The person cannot control their repetition and continues to say or do it even after the reason to say or do it has stopped. For example, a person may answer a question, but then repeat the answer for every other question or after questioning stops. Perseveration can be caused by a brain injury or in schizophrenia. Question thirty-three: One of the major causes of depression in the elderly is a lack of money and resources. B. Living with their children. C. Going to nursing home activities. D. Inability to run their own lives. Answer D. Explanation. Elderly people can become depressed because of the losses they experience: loss of independence, loss of health and mobility, loss of spouse and friends, and loss of career. Are examples. These types of losses involve the grief process, which includes depression. The elderly can also have lower levels of important chemicals in the brain, norepinephrine and serotonin, that protect against depression. Question thirty-four. Mrs. Thompson is confused. The nurse aide should a keep the client away from other clients. B. Restrain the client so that she does not hurt herself. C. Give hints so the client can figure out the situation. D. Help the client to recognize familiar things and people. Answer D. Explanation. When a client becomes confused, try to figure out the cause. It can often be a change of routine, caregiver, or a sudden memory. Start with basic reasons for the confusion. Has their schedule been changed? Is there a change in staff? Are they wearing their glasses or hearing aids? Perhaps the client saw an object or someone that reminded them of the past. A good technique is to spend time with the client, reviewing familiar things and people. Look at objects and photos to reassure them and help them calm down. Question thirty-five: Which question is best for getting a client engaged in a conversation? A. What do you like best about your career? B. Is it true that you were born in London? C. Would you like some cake and ice cream? D. Can I help you with that? Answer A. Explanation. Avoid using close-ended question. What that can be answered with a yes or no when trying to engage a client. Use open-ended questions to get answers that require some thought. The answers will be longer than a word or two and can provide information about the client. Good conversations require open-ended questions. Question thirty-six: Which statement is true about residents who are restrained? A. They are not at risk for falling out of their beds or wheelchairs. B. They are at lower risk of developing pneumonia. C. They have improved posture and alignment. D. They are at greater risk for developing pressure sores.
NCD explanation, restraints can lead to serious safety and medical issues even when properly applied. Some of the safety issues are an increased risk of force, asphyxiation, and strangulation. Medical consequences include greater risks of pressure sores, skin damage, bone loss, muscle atrophy, respiratory infections, and pain. The emotional issues include loss of dignity, reduced quality of life, isolation, and depression. Restraints may never be applied without physician's order. Question 37. A way to care for a resident suffering from depression would be to A. Get them to cheer up and stop talking about their feelings. B. Make sure the resident wears their glasses and hearing aids. C. Encourage them to avoid activities until they're better. D. Let them stay in their room and think about the situation. Answer B. Explanation. Residents who are depressed may tend to withdraw and avoid activities. If their symptoms last more than a week, tell the nurse. Encourage the client to sit in a common place, even if they don't actively participate. Make sure they have the glasses and hearing aids so they are not isolated from communication. Another important thing staff can do is to allow residents with depression to express their feelings. Use active listening and respond in a kind tone of voice. Studies have shown that depressed people remember the tone of voice more than the words they were spoken. Question 38. Miss Fleming, a resident who has recently been diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer, has accused the nursing assistants in a unit of taking poor care of her and causing a disease to get worse. What stage of grief is Miss Fleming in? A. Anger. B. Depression. C. Denial. D. Bargaining. Answer A. Explanation. When Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross identified the five stages of grief and dying, she stated that anger is the only stage that everyone goes through. Residents can show anger in different ways. They can be angry with themselves or with others, especially those close to them or those who are trying to help them. If a resident becomes angry, understand why. Stay detached and non-judgmental when experiencing the anger of someone who is very upset. Question 39. The nurse aide finds Miss Jones alone in her room. She is sad and crying. Which is the best statement to tell Miss Jones? A. Oh my, Miss Jones, you seem sad. Is anything wrong? B. Come on, Miss Jones, cheer up. Let's go to the activity room. C. Shall I call your family, Miss Jones? Maybe they can make you feel better. D. Are you crying again, Miss Jones? What in the world is going on with you? Answer A. Explanation. No matter client's age or mental status, sadness and what can occur. While crying can make some people uncomfortable, the nurse aide is in the best position to ask the client about their feelings and to offer comfort. Do not leave the client alone. Do not try to distract the client. Simply sit with the client and ask gentle questions. Listen and do not offer solutions. During sadness, people seek comfort and a kind presence. They may not be asking for a solution, but simply someone to listen. If you can help, do so. Question 40. What are the parts that make up the whole person? A. Physical, social, religious, psychological, education. B. Spiritual, physical, emotional, cognitive, social. C. Spiritual, social, physical, psychological, relationships. D. Emotional, social, historical, cognitive, health. Answer B. Explanation. Each human being has five parts that make up the entire person. 1. Social, relationships, friendships, and community. 2. Physical, health, illness, hygiene, fitness, diet, disability, and disease. 3. Emotional, awareness of feelings and how they impact behavior. 4. Cognitive, thinking and learning. And 5. Spiritual, 
personal beliefs around religion and ethics. Thank you for watching.